What's up YouTube? Sky, that one guy here. And today we have a pretty interesting find um, that I got online. And uh, we're going to open this up today. So this is a box that I believe should have been at a dollar store. Um, I'm not sure where the seller got it, but uh, he was selling a lot of other stuff than just Yu-Gi-Oh! So uh, I assume, you know, he got it and is just reselling it. So what is inside is, if I can get them out, a bunch of the light edition of Duel's Pack Rivals of Pharaohs. So this is what we're going to be opening today is a bunch of these. So these are the three card pack version. So I've actually never opened these. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this, uh, this box, but... For the price it went, I kind of bid, and I was like, eh, if I want it at that price, all right. Somebody outbids me, whatever, and I want it, so I was like, all right. So, um, there's a ton of packs in here. Uh, yeah, there's a ton. I actually haven't counted them yet. Um, the seller didn't specify, but there is a literal ton of packs. So, pretty cool. Um, so, real quick before we get into that. I'm doing a round of the, another round of the free booster pack giveaway for those of you in the US. Just um, like this video, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you're in the US and you did those things, you'll be automatically entered in a chance for at least one of you to win one of these packs. You'll get to choose one. Um, you can also choose if you'd like. I do have the new set uh, Infinity Chasers. So if you like that pack, if you win and you like that pack, I'll open the box and send you out one pack. So. Um, at least one person will win one pack uh, from this video. So, enough about that. Um, let's get these crazy packs out of here. Uh, so, again, these are the light edition. So, it's only three cards per pack. Definitely not guaranteed a hollow. Uh, I'd assume we're probably only going to get a few hollows. But this set does have a 20-something um, dollar card. Uh, Silent Magician, Silent Swordsman. It's the girl-ish looking one. Um, and then it does have a $10 card and quite a few $7 cards, actually. So I thought it would be worth it. And uh, we're going to open up however many packs we have here. I don't even know. So um, let's um, get them all laid out. It's probably going to be a little bit longer of a video. Hopefully not too crazy. But um, sorry for anybody OCDing about this pack mess. I just want to get all these out of here for now. And um, yeah, so a ton of these things in here. All right, I think we're almost done. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Okay. Sweets. Oh, one more. Okay, now, box is empty, so. Pretty cool little display box thing. So, well, let's grab our packs. Quite a few of these things. Um, I don't think they've been tampered with in any way. Uh, there's a small chance that someone could have weighed these, but like I said, the seller was selling just a whole bunch of random stuff. Um, I don't think he had any other Yu-Gi-Oh products, so I don't think that is the case, but you never know when buying online. Um, so yeah, let's get these opened. Let's see, I'll count one side, and we'll go from there. So, two, four, six... 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, exactly. Wow, so I'd say about 50 packs. So it's going to be a longer video, you guys. Hope you don't mind. Again, this is the three cards per pack light edition. So very slim chance at getting a hollow. All right, so let's see if we can do it. Our main goal is just to get at least a few hollows, hopefully some ultra rares. Uh, that $20 card sure would be nice. But, you know, we'll just see what we can do. So, yellow gadget, spirit message in, and a rare, at least we got a rare, Fiend Sanctuary. I actually don't know if it's a rare in every pack or not. I guess we'll have to see. So, alright. So, probably a longer video, you guys. So, sit back, relax, let me know what you think about this opening. And, uh, let's see if we can do something good. So, yellow gadget, spirit message in, and X, or YZ Tank Cannon. There we go. Okay. Definitely a lot of these packs to open. Spirit Message in. Spirit Message A. And Dragon Master Knight. That's actually a good rare. 
think that has at least a, what, like 50 cent to a dollar value, something like that. Not too shabby. Uh, like I said, I got these at a great price, so way less than what they should have been. So, Yellow Gadget, Stronghold, and Dragon's Mirror. But, um, you know, there's a small chance that they could have been tampered with, so we'll just have to keep opening and see what we can do. Spirit Message L, Temple of the Kings, and Dark Magician of Chaos. So, another pretty good rare, actually. So, not too bad. Sangin, blue, uh, Blast Held by a Tribute, and Dragon Shrine. Yeah, the, the pull rates on these should be pretty low. It is just three cards per pack, so... Let's just see. Silent Swordsman level 7, Blast Held by a Tribute, and Metal Reflex Slime. Okay, so we're like uh, 2, 4, 6, 7 ish packs deep, something like that. No hollow yet. That's alright. So, Red Gadget, Hellpomer, and Castle of Dragon Souls. Pretty cool looking rare, actually. Alright. Six minutes in, hopefully we can hit a hollow. Let's see that silent magician or silent swordsman. Oh, silent paladin. So, okay, sweet. So the good thing is we know there is hollows in here. So I know they haven't been tampered with now. We hit an ultra rare. This is not the 20 or $30 one, but this one is pretty cool. And I'm definitely happy with that. That is a great one. So silent paladin, ultra rare. So that is the max rarity for this set. And a great ultra, and it came with a Dragon Master Knight rare. So actually a pretty good rare. Alright, so we hit our first highlight of the video. Silent Paladin. Hopefully we keep that momentum going. We're looking for the other ultra rares in the set. Let's see if we can do it. Or some uh, super rares would be nice too. So, Mystical Beasts. Oh, there's the super rare. Silent Sword Slash. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I think this was like the $4 super rare. So if I remember right, that's actually a really good hit. Could be wrong though, but I think that was the one. YZ Tank Cannon is the rare. Sweet, so that definitely just turned the momentum around. Dedication through Light and Darkness, Silent Magician level four, and Dragon Shrine. So we're already pretty far in the video and I still have a ton of packs, so I'm gonna speed it up. Speeding it up. Spirit Message, Rage, Metal Reflect. Necroface, Spirit Message, another Metal Reflect slime. So two of the same rare in a row. Sangin, Silent Swordsman, and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. That's actually, I think this old, uh, this rare was like two or three bucks, which is really surprising because it just recently got uh, the Secret Rare reprint in Legendary Collection. So I was pretty surprised to see just the rare uh, hold some value. So that is a good rare to pull. We got the Destiny board, sweet, and Thousand Eyes Restrict, another solid uh, 50 cent to a dollar rare, you know, better than bulk. Still a good, a good pull, I will take it. Alright, we got some gadgets, Fiend Sanctuary, and a Silent Magician. Alright, you guys, we are getting somewhat close to being halfway through this madness. Spirit Message, Mystical Beast, and another slime. We got a lot of those. Dark Necrofear, Beast, and Thousand Eyes. Again, I will take that over most of the other rares. So, pack piles are becoming a mess. All right. Smooth those packs a little over so they didn't fall. Okay. Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician, and the Slime. Lots of Slime. Hopefully we can pull one of the two main cards that I am looking for. Dragon's Mirror, alright. Alright, another... Some more repeats. We're getting into quite the repeats here. Boy, that one didn't want to come apart. 
All right, come on, hello. All right, Fiend Sanctuary. Oh, bumped the camera there, sorry guys. All right, Dragon Shrine. So yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind. There is a ton of duplicates. This is a small set. We're gonna see a lot of the same cards opening up about 50 packs. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So this isn't the most expensive card in the set, but this is the second most expensive card in the set. So we are pretty much in the green now with plenty of packs to go. So Silent Swordsman, awesome. I think this was around 10 to $12, so definitely looking good. I'm definitely happy I bought this now. So yeah, the price was just underpriced. I wasn't sure on the ratios on these light packs, but I figured we'd get at least a couple ultras. So we are already doing better than I expected. And we have the last pack for that pile. So I think we're about like 20-ish packs deep, something, somewhere around there. And we have quite a few to go, maybe 25 packs deep. Maybe we're about halfway. I guess we could say about, about halfway, close to it. Magnet Force Super Rare. Dragon Master Knight Rare, pretty good hollows. Sweet. Eyes Ultimate, one of the better rares to get. Again, sweet. All right, guys, had some quick technical difficulties, but we are back. Still have about 20 ish packs to go. So let's finish this up. Let's finish strong. All right, there we go. Great start. Magnet Reverse. Well, I mean, not start. We're way in the middle. But Magnet Reverse, super rare. Awesome. Another decently valuable card. But uh, main things to look for is the ultra rares, though I'm very happy with a super rare. So let's see what else we can get. Blue Eyes Ultimate again, definitely getting a lot of those. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Got tons of the uh, Destiny Board final, uh, not final, uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate again. Uh, now it's going to bug me. Yeah, Spirit Messages, that's what they are. All right. Let's see, so five hollows so far, looking pretty good. Tons of the slime. Thousand Eyes Restrict. There we go, Neutron Blast Ultra Rare. Um, again, you know, I'm not too familiar with the medium end prices of the set, but... Um, this very well could be one of the $5 cards, or it could be one of the $2 ones. I'm not entirely sure, but I will take an ultra rare either way. So that is good. We are looking good. Okay. Yeah, so again, like, these are probably, these are usually supposed to be sold at dollar stores, but I bought it as a lot online, and he didn't even specify how many packs. He just showed a picture, and it looked like, you know, approximately like 20 to 30 of them. So, you know, I didn't pay that much at all. Like, um, yeah, he probably spent most of what he got on shipping, actually, now that I think about it. So pretty crazy, but I will definitely take it. And we're basically what I'm trying to say is we're looking really good for what we paid um, for these interesting three card light edition packs. So pretty cool. Dragon's Mirror, Necroface and Destiny Board. Let's see if we can get, uh, I think two more hollows would be nice from the last few packs here. We're getting pretty low, maybe 10-ish packs left, maybe less. Um, so one or two more hollows would be nice. Let's see if we can end it strong. Wish me luck, you guys. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, 
Dark Magician of Chaos. Here we go, you guys. Let's see a hollow. There we go. Tribute Burial. Sweet. So we got another hollow. Super rare. Thousand Eyes Restrict. So maybe one more hollow to finish it off in these last five packs. Can we do it, you guys? Let's see. Oh, wow. We actually did it. Magnet Force. Awesome. Super rare again. We already pulled that one, but that's all right. I will take it. So. Eight hollows so far, four more packs to go. Uh, maybe if we could get one more ultra rare, that'd be amazing. But again, I've already hit my, what I wanted many times over. So I'm happy either way. So, wow, magnet, three magnet forces. What Back to back magnet forces. Okay. So just when I ask for one or two more hollows, they give me three. Awesome. I will take it. We are on a roll right now. Can we keep it going in the end? One more ultra rare, maybe? Is it possible? All right. Two more packs to go. Last two packs. Bless them up. One more ultra rare. Can we end it strong? Let's see. Video. Okay. Oh, darn. Okay, Dark Magician of Chaos again. Whew. Last pack of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, these are again were the light edition, usually at the dollar store of the Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaohs. So, looking pretty good so far. Last pack. Let's see if we can end it strong. Here we go. Oh, darn. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon and a slime at the end. Of course, the slime. Okay, so we didn't hit the most expensive card, um, but uh, that is all right. I think we got some pretty good pulls and... Uh, based on just how cheap I, how low the price was, um, I think it was worth it just for the experience and the amount of hollows we got. So, pretty cool. These super rares were Silent Sword Slash, ma three Magnet Forces, Tribute Burial, and Magnet Reverse. So, I think at least one or two of those have some value. Um, I'm not sure about all of them, though. And then for the Ultra Rares, we have Neutron Blast, Silent Paladin, and Silent Swordsman. And if I remember right... This was the second most expensive card in the set, though uh, there's a chance I could be wrong. I ordered these some time ago, and I've been sitting on them for a little while, so um, I haven't looked into the prices recently, but I think this was the good one, so I am pretty sure we did really good, you guys, but uh, either way, it was definitely worth it for what I paid, so let me know what you guys think about this video, and we'll be doing some great openings soon. Let me know what you guys think. Um, enter for the free pack giveaway. Uh, gonna be opening up dual power real soon so check that out thanks again guys hope you have a great day